Hey guys, I just wanna show you um, how I've made this etched glass and it is so beautiful. I love the way it turned out. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, it's just, it's so classy, it looks really good. All you need is etching cream and, um, and a stencil. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Um, the link to buy the etching cream is in the description box and I hope you enjoy. Have fun. Okay guys, so I'm going to be etching um, this beer mug right here. And I've got my design already. Um, so here's the design, can't really see it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and reverse weed it. That means I'm going to remove the pieces um, that I want to keep, uh, that I want on the design. So I'm just gonna take out the parts that I want etched. Okay, so I've got my design reverse weeded, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm using some contact paper instead of transfer paper, because um, most of the time it works just as well and it's a lot cheaper. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on top there. going to do is I'm actually I've got some painters tape and I am just going to just add some a little extra to the sides um, because once I put the etching cream on I don't want it to get um, on the sides of the, the design either so just to be safe I'm kind of just adding this This is the etching cream. Oh, okay. So this is the etching cream that I'm using. It's called Armor Etch, and I will post a link to the um, this product in the description. Um, now, this is dangerous. This is like a dangerous chemical. Uh, causes burns, and um, it should definitely be kept out of reach of children. It even has like a safety cap. Um, so please be careful with this when you're using it. In fact, I would recommend using some um, latex gloves or some disposable gloves just to protect your hands from it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that. And then the other thing I use is um, a popsicle stick. You can see I've already used it um, for uh, one that I've already done. So I use the popsicle stick and what I'll do is you'll see that I'll be um, uh, using it to apply so that it doesn't so that it doesn't get absorbed because this stuff, um, it's not cheap and um, you know, I like to be really conservative with it. All right, here's the fun part, here we go. So, got my armor etch. Okay, and you just need a little bit. And so, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it just, just to cover just enough. And it's okay if you add a little bit too much because um, what you can do, like I said, you can scrape it back up when you're all done. Um, and then you can actually put it right back in the bottle and use it again later. Okay, so it's been about two or three minutes at least. And so I'm going to remove the excess of this um, etching cream and I'm going to put it right back in the jar because I like to be cheap with my supplies whenever I can you guys it's not a bad thing see that goes right back in and I'm going to use it for the next project, and that way I've only used such a tiny, tiny amount. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this off. Okay, here we go. Alright, it's not going to look like much while I'm washing it right now. This starts to come off you guys can see this beautiful subtle etching on this glass right here so as you can see this turned out so beautifully I love the result I think it looks so classy um, I personally prefer this over just putting vinyl on a cup I think it looks gorgeous um, I've included a link to this armor etch so that you can buy it and do the same thing with your projects. Let me know how it turns out. Um, also be sure to like Better Life Blog, uh, follow us depending on what social media platform you prefer to use. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, um, we're pretty much everywhere on the web so just come and find us and um, looking forward to doing more projects with you. Take care and I'll see you next time.